Mode 4 provides minimum terrain clearance protection in all phases of flight. GPWS will alert the flight crew to insufficient terrain clearance based on airspeed, altitude, rate of descent, and aircraft configuration. Mode 4 protection is especially valuable when the aircraft is on a normal flight path where excessive descents or closure with terrain are not a factor. To understand the scope of Mode 4 alerts, let's follow a typical flight from takeoff to touchdown. As shown a few moments ago, Mode 3 protection is automatically enabled as the takeoff occurs. At the same time, Mode 4 begins to build a floor below the aircraft during climb out. This floor will continue to build under the aircraft until reaching roughly 800 feet above ground, where it will remain throughout the flight until the aircraft begins initial approach at the destination. If the aircraft penetrates this floor during the flight, the red GPWS warning lamp will illuminate and the voice alert, too low terrain, will be heard. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Once the aircraft is safely back above the protective floor, the red warning lamp will extinguish and the voice alert will cease. During the approach and landing, GPWS monitors airspeed and aircraft configuration. The minimum terrain clearance floor is automatically adjusted as airspeed is decreased. If landing gear is not down and locked at 500 feet above ground, the red GPWS warning lamp will illuminate and the voice alert too low gear will be heard. Too low gear. Too low gear. If flaps are not set to landing configuration by 170 to 250 feet, the red GPWS warning lamp will illuminate and the voice alert too low flaps will be heard. Too low flaps. Too low flaps. Pilots may elect to disable the flap alerts by engaging the flap override function either prior to or during a flap alert enunciation. This allows landings in configurations other than normal landing flaps with no GPWS flap alert.